right? S4 HANA in the sense, what is it? That might be SAP S4 HANA environment or SAP ECC environment. Let's assume it as ERP, ERP system. Version might be anything. Some some projects like in some clients are still using SAP ECC. They did not migrate to SAP S4 HANA. They are still on ECC system. And few projects are already migrated to S4, SAP S4 HANA advanced versions, right? So SAP ECC or SAP S4 HANA, that is a ERP system, okay? So that is central data repository for the entire organization. If you need to share any data, okay, to transfer the data from SAP ERP to other systems, so we have a lot of interface options like we can use web services, BAPIs, proxies, right? File is one of the interface where you can host the file to AL11 directory and the other external systems can access that file using middleware. That is outbound scenario. What is inbound scenario? Receiving data from external systems. Receiving data from uh, external systems, right? If you need to receive huge data, external systems will generate a file and middleware will read the file from external system and post it to SAP AL11 directory. SAP AL11. And in SAP, we create a program to read that file into one internal table. That is inbound scenario. So in the yesterday's session, we created outbound scenario, right? We collected data from different SAP tables, depends on some condition and we applied some validations on the data and we populated the data to a application server file. What is the syntax to create application server file? Open data set. Open, Open data set. Right. If it is for outbound, we use uh, output. If it is for in inbound, we use info input. And mode? Modes, we have text mode and binary mode. If we use text mode, it will move the data line by line. If we use binary mode, it will move the data character by character from work area to that corresponding file. For transfer, we use transfer to move the record by record to file. Okay. Open data set is to create the file, create a empty file. Transfer is to move the records to file. And what is the other thing? Close data set. It is to close the file. Okay. And delete data set. When we use delete data set to delete the file from application server directory. Okay. So I'm talking about external systems, right? So why we have external systems in any project? We are using uh, that, that project is like that client is using SAP. So what is the need of using uh, different third party systems, non SAP systems? Because they can't run uh, everything on SAP. They can use it for specific business core business functionalities of the company. They can use SAP ERP for the core business functionalities of the company. But that, that, uh, that doesn't mean that uh, SAP is enough for all their company's operations. For recruiting, for recruiting, they might using a different system to recruit the new employees, right? For example, uh, success factors, right? For insurance, for insurance, they might use a different system, right? For example, if there is any company who will provide insurance for the employees? Usually companies provide insurance for the, their employees. Who will provide that insurance policies? Is it the same company or insurance, insurance company? The same com or insurance, company. insurance provider like some LS, uh, LIC, right? They are going to provide insurance for the company employees. Company will pay the amount for that insurance provider. To provide the insurance, what are the data that, that is required for the company, insurance company? 
they need right, employee right. details right employee name employee uh, address employee age all these master data that is required right to create any insurance policy that data will be available yes, in sir. sap tables we need to share that data right with that insurance provider to provide the insurance for the employees we need to share all those employees data right if it is a small okay. company with uh, uh, 500 or 600 they can use some web service calls to transfer the data for example if you take tcs they have more than 5 lakhs employees it is very difficult to transfer that much huge data from uh, sap to other systems in such in such scenarios what what kind of interface we use file interface okay we collect all the data into one file and we place that file into application server and the middleware will pick the data and send that file to insurance provider and uh, they will read the data inside the file and they will process right So similarly, for similar kind of requirements, we use file interfaces in any project. Okay. And these syntax are very important in interview as well. Today we'll create an inbound program to read the file from application server into an internal table and post it to SAP. Okay. Okay, give me a minute. I'll just join back. Sorry, yeah. So what is a transaction code to create a program for file interface, inbound file interface? Yes, it is. Yeah, don't confuse, okay? So driver program, we create in SC38 for forms. Report programs, we create in SC38. Right? File interfaces, we create in SC38. Okay. 
altogether that is a sc38 program depends on the output we call it as driver program report program or interface okay clear when we call the program as interface when the program is selecting the data and transferring the data to other systems we call that program as what kind of what type of program interface interface, interface. when we create a program to display the smart form or adobe form what do we call that program driver print forms driver program or print program right when we create a program to select the data and display it in the alv format what do we call that program report program right we call that as report program but but everywhere we are going to create one sc38 program depends on the functionality we are calling it in the relevant terminology interface report or print program okay in projects we use different naming conventions for different types of programs for print programs we use some naming convention to like to indicate it as a driver program right so you have to follow that naming convention as per the project okay so yesterday we created uh, which uh, i think we have uh, reused the existing program so which is already selecting some data and we posted that file to application server even we we have gone through radio buttons right now i'll do one thing what are the options we have in the report oh uh, display create file okay let me create a new program here what is our requirement we need to read the file from application server and post it to sap right what is the prerequisite the file should be available somewhere in the sap uh, al11 directory check in the al11 directory usually for now in the training system only dir home is working go to dir home sort it by descending so that we can find the recent files what we have created someone has created this i don't know who is this alto seat alto seat seat alto seats this is my program okay why material text is displaying two times like created like two different columns created two different columns i think yesterday i have created this file right sales data i'll take this example so Uh, let's assume we have a file available in application server someone posted it some external system posted the file to application server now what my what is the requirement of my program i need to read this file into sap right for that i'm going to create a program what you need to know what is the prerequisite to start this program someone ask you to create the program to read the application server file into sap so what is the first question you have to ask file path file path that's okay file path can be anything because we are just configuring it as a parameter right we are going to check the first yes. you can you can you can provide any path right in the parameter you can provide any path that's not a issue but what is the important thing you need to know <clears throat> before going to create the program file structure requirement file structure what are the fields what are what are the columns available in the file 
and what is their corresponding data type okay that is very important you need to know what are the fields available in the file and what is the source fields in sap what is the corresponding field available in sap for, for this there is some number right so we don't know what is this and you need to ask what is this value what is this value what is the source value or target value target field in sap what is the target field in sap for example this is sales order number vbln vbak vbln is the target field for this value and there is a material there is some value this one so let's assume this as material so what is the target field in sap that is matner right like that you need to know what is that field and what is the corresponding field available in sap right so that you can create a type structure with reference to the file clear you need to ask that questions if they don't provide if they like let's assume if they don't provide the details you need to ask them like what is this value and what is the corresponding sap field and what is the corresponding sap table where i need to save this in sap once i read the data into internal table in which table i need to save this data and what is the suitable field for this value you need to ask okay clear without that you can't create the program file uh, with files so this is same like this is same for application server files or local files right when you got a local file you need to know what is the corresponding sap field for that uh, value in file so that you can define correct type structure like this right clear since we have posted same file so same data so, right i am going to take the same type structure vbln audat vbln audat ta is the audat and what is the next one auart i don't know that value available or not looks like that is blank vkgrp posnr where is posnr and uh, material text this is the material text maybe we are not populating correctly this um, data anyway now we are going to read this data into sap how to read that data first create a program to read the application server file z demo I'm creating inbound sales data, right? For example, since it is an interface, I'll use like this Z demo IF, right? Just to indicate this as an interface program. Inbound. Type as executable program, save it save it in the corresponding package and here define one parameter what is the use of this parameter to provide the file path what is the file that you are trying to read type for now i'll take it as string okay now here we can provide the file path initialization at selection screen now tell me what are the possible validations for this program can we continue can we execute the program without file path without file name
no right no so without a empty file the program doesn't know what what uh, data what data it needs to read from uh, uh, application server right for that reason we need to provide a proper file path that means file name okay if p underscore file is initial don't hard code the text keep it as a text symbol like this enter if you click here it will automatically create one text symbol that is a shortcut to create a text symbols act just activate this Then what is the next step? We need to read the file, right? And after reading the file, where we need to keep that file? In one internal table, right? For that, what we need? Create, create internal. one internal table. We, we need to create one internal table. For that, we need a type structure. To identify the type structure and its fields, what is what we need? We need to know what are the fields available in the file, right? Since we are using the same uh, file, which we posted uh, earlier in outbound scenario, we are going to use the same type structure and the same internal table. Otherwise, you need to identify the type structure and you, and you need to create corresponding internal table. Now, what is the next step? Do you have any option, F4 option to select the application server file? No. We need to enter no. manually, right? So just like how we added F4 help, dynamic search help, here also we'll add one dynamic search help for the file. But this time we are we are adding it for application server file. So it should it should uh, take us to the application server directory, not the local files in your local laptop or system folders, right? For that, we have a function module. What is the event we need to use for dynamic search help? Get selection screen on value request for. Hmm. Value request for p underscore file. Then we have a function module. We need to call that function module let me search that first how do you know this function module means we need to search you can find it in online lot of examples I think this is the one F4 server file. Let me just test this. Mm. It is showing application server files, right? So these are the directories, application server directories. I think home is our home directory. You need to go through all the path to find your files.
what is that path home directory path usr sap a4h usr sap a4h d15 work Where is USR? At the end. USR. SAP. A4H. D15. Next work, right? Work. Yes. Here you can find. The files uh, like what you what you have posted earlier, I think there are a lot of files. Think this one sales data one two three right so this is the path of that file this is the application server path of uh, that file okay so you can select like this okay you need to provide this application server path if you want to read that so we use this function module for f4 help for application server files for local files we can use a f4 file name Call this function module pattern for server file uh, in, in importing server file you need to pass p underscore file and you need to make sure both server file type and this file type are same let me check that what is the type of uh, exporting parameter server file they haven't specified any type so that you can mention any type so let's just uh, test this is it working or not Let me select some file later we can change it yeah we are able to select the application server file right that functionality is completed f4 functionality is completed now what is the next step so this is the function module which when which we can use for application server file f4 help so we, we like we have other methods also class methods also you can find it online easily Next, we need to read the file, right? So, what is the statement to read the file, application server file? What is the syntax? open data set? So, open data set is the syntax for read application server files. So what, what open data set will do? Open the file, and uh, we need to use read statement to read the record one by one into internal table right it is it is there is small difference here when we are reading the file please observe carefully now what is the statement open data set and uh, file name file path and uh, for input for input in text mode in text mode encoding default then if sy hyphen sub r c equal to 0 what does that mean 
if file opens file opens successfully that means if you provide some incorrect name sub rc will be not equal to 0 0 okay. and if then what is the next statement we need to use read read read, read. data set file path or you can also hard code the file name file path to internal table into we need to copy record work area. by record record by record into work area it, it cannot read all at once record by record into okay. work area i'm saying that it's going to re read one by one right after reading append ls underscore LD. final to lt underscore final but how many records it can append only are we, one are we looping anything here no are no. we looping any no, data no right no so the read data state uh, set statement will execute only once and it, it can move only one record from uh, the card application server file to work area right it cannot read multiple records what we need to do we need loop to it. loop it using do do and do what do what do and end do will do it will repeat for certain number of times for example if you if you use like this do 10 times what it will do it will repeat the loop for 10 times 10 times but we are not sure right how many records are there in the file yes we don't know that's why don't provide this if you don't provide this what will happen and will it will loop last up to last record no it will, it will execute forever. 10 times it will loop forever infinite loop there is no okay. stop for this loop right there is no conditions to stop this right yes sir it will it will loop forever and after some time your program will time out so for this what we need to do if sy hyphen sub rc equal to 0 that means if it is able to read the record append it else if sub rc is not equal to 0 that means read data set statement failed read failed this one if, it, if the read is successful append the work area to internal table If read failed, that means no more records in the application server file. All records are processed. No more records available. Then what we need to do? Exit. Okay. We need to exit. Clear? What is the exit statement will do? It will stop the loop. the loop. It will terminate the loop okay exit statement will terminate the loop there is another statement continue what the continue statement will do it will stop skip the, current the record question. processing and skip to the next record it won't to terminate the loop okay but exit statement will terminate the loop okay after processing the data so record should be added to internal table we'll just display that uh, records if is not initial and if we'll just display using some cl demo output but you guys practice 
whenever you need to display something practice using alv report don't use cl demo output okay clear let's test this program let me keep a breakpoint here it open data set statement let me select the application server file if you don't provide the complete path it will by default take it from dir home if you just provide the file name like this okay what is our application server path usr SAP. SAP. So every time you need to create a when you are creating a program, you need to check with the directory. Like what is the directory I have to use to read certain HR data, certain employee master data, what is the directory for sales data, what is the directory? Because for every data, right, they'll create separate directories. Okay. So usually basis team will create these directories if the they are not available. Work Where is this file name? Since it's a training system, there are thousands of files posted by many. But usually in projects, you don't you're not going to find all these junk files. You should be able to find somewhere here or file SAP data one two three now execute it F5 what is sub RC eight hey. that means file open failed right it is yes. failed to open the file. Looks like there is some access issue to access this directory. Like there is some issue. Let's try with only file name because it will by default select from the default directory. Okay. But in projects, uh, you are not going to see this error. Execute this. By default, it should read from DAR home F5. Yeah, now it is successful. So file opened successfully. Now what we are doing reading record one by one from application server file to work area F5 first record. We're able to read the first record into application server file to work area sub RC zero read is successful append it to internal table. So this process will continue until all the records are processed. This do loop will continue. How many records we have in the file? Now, if you observe, sub RC is 4, that means read is failed and there are no more records. How many times uh, the do loop continues? What is the loop count? Nine here? times. Nine times. Nine you, can, times. you can check the loop count by SY tabix. Nine times. Exit. Loop is exit. And then display. This is your data which we posted to the application server file yesterday. We are using same data for inbound and both outbound scenarios. Only thing you need to remember here is 
when you are working with the date and numerical values right you need to take them as character type data initially in this file structure okay clear okay later you can convert into uh, convert uh, the data into sap format right so for that you need to have one one type structure for file format and another type structure for your sap data okay Okay. But usually when a program is posting the files to application server, right, they are, they are not going to use the same name. They will add date and time at the end of the file. I will show you like this. Um, where is the program to post it? Yeah. So here we are entering the program name, right? In the path. What we will do? will concatenate date and time to the file name okay will concatenate date and time to the file name how we do that for example user entered some uh, file name what we do date of lv underscore file split p underscore file into file yet dot into lv underscore data and lv underscore file type or that means txt dot txt right txt or data dat format we can use both now what i'll do concatenate lv underscore file what uh, sy hyphen datum sy hyphen u z e i t into i'll take one variable data of lv underscore path okay and then file type i'm making it as <coughs> complicated thing sorry not here dot txt into this path so whenever we run the program it will create the file with the corresponding date and time okay Let's just test this. Provide some file name. Execute it. Oh, sorry. I've selected display, but we should select file because we are using condition, right? Create file. So usually in the projects, uh, when you are creating the file, right, we add the timestamp for the tracking. Like we need to know, right, when the file is created, we are just splitting this file into two variables, file name and the extension, the type of the file, right, into two variables. And what we are doing here, we are concatenating the file name with the date, time and the file name like this. Now the file name will be like this. Okay. It will post with the corresponding date and time. So that you, we can understand like when the corresponding file is posted in the application server. Clear. And you need to pass that name. You need to pass that variable name here. Instead of, uh, you need to pass this LV path. Instead of original parameter. Okay. Clear. For now, I'll just comment this. Keep it for your reference. So that's about uh, application server files. 
and you know like simple uh, delete statement will delete the file okay delete data set and uh, file name it will delete the file from application server you don't need to write open data set and everything okay 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 sir or let me add that first i will delete and create the file delete data set the data set name p underscore file if that file name is available already available in the home directory it will delete that file let me check there is a sales 123 file is there let me delete that execute oh sorry create file and it should first delete it and create again so if you check the last change date maybe let me come back the file name should be with the recent uh, date and time now because we deleted it and created it again right so this is the recent file which we created today okay sorry what is it hmm. this one any questions so tomorrow we'll see like usually we don't run these programs manually we are not going to uh, open the program daily and we are going to run it manually in projects right what we'll do we'll configure it as a background job so that at certain point of time every day these programs will run automatically one program will create the file in application server automatically the other program will read inbound files inbound files from application server and post it into sap automatically no manual interaction here okay we create the programs test the programs and schedule as a jobs background jobs so they'll run every day at certain point of time tomorrow we'll see how to run the program in background jobs okay how to monitor the background jobs okay Okay, sir.